Welcome to 90 Patriot, Dre Patriot Way in the village of Centerville on Cape Cod. We're going to go ahead and walk in through what Cape Cod is always used, which is the informal side door here off the farmer's porch, but there is a main entry door right into the formal living room, as you can see. One of the highlights of this house is a nice big side yard, a huge two-car two oversized garage uh, do with uh, nine-foot garage doors, perfect for a handy person, uh, construction, somebody with a lot of things to store, uh, just great space, highly unusual in this price range. And we're stepping in here to the family room where we started, where we will start the internal tour. This is the path around beside the garage to the backyard with a large deck, a nice partially fenced backyard, smaller on this side than on the other and we'll just take a quick walk over the deck so you can see how large and level the side yard is. Perfect for your recreational activities there. It's a cape so it's a full two-story. There's still a ladder here they're finishing up some painting but full dormered cape and so you can really get a sense of the scope and size of this house. That dormer is in the finished area over the garage which we will see on the interior video. As we step in through the farmer's porch entry, um, which you can see there is the door to the garage, so you have a covered entry into the house. This is the family room with brand new sparkling refinished hardwood floors and a slider out to an expansive deck and a sunny backyard. Fireplace here, which is a gas log. The house is heated by hot air gas. We're stepping from the family room and back entry into the kitchen, which is a nice spacious kitchen, center island, tile floors, gas range. And here we're looking into the laundry room and there is a construction ladder here because they're still finishing up some of the work. But the tile floor, wonderful mudroom laundry entry with a door out to the back, again to the deck. And we're just going to swing back around to the kitchen, through the kitchen. Looking down that hall to the two bedrooms, which we will see, both with hardwood floors, into the front door entry with a staircase going up. This is a formal living room with, again, newly refinished sparkling hardwood floors. And we're just going to go down the hall. The door to the basement is on our left. It is not finished, but it, it's uh, suitable for finishing. Um, and here's a bath that has been recently updated with tile floors, a new vanity and sink, and a tub shower combination. Okay, and here we are, bedroom in the back on the first floor. Again, the hardwood floors, nice large closet, two windows, so you can get lots of light and air. And backing out from that room to the bedroom that's in the front of the house here on the first floor with three windows to let lots of light and ventilation in in a good sized closet on your left. Okay, I'm going to uh, suspend while, and we'll head upstairs. This is the view as you come in the front door into that formal front living room with the kitchen beyond. And we're just going to head upstairs so I can show you the upstairs area. This is quite a large house with four bedrooms. The rosin paper is still on the floor here to protect the newly refinished hardwood floors up here too. This bath has a skylight and again has had some upgrades, new floor, new tile surround the tub, nice and fresh. To the left of the stairs we have a front to back bedroom, quite large built-ins, closet, two windows plus a skylight. All freshly painted, the whole interior has been repainted so it smells fresh, it looks fresh, ready to move right in. Over to the bedroom here, upstairs, and this could function nicely as a master upstairs if you wanted. Plenty of room with two closets in this room, a skylight, and then a real treat beyond just a massive what could be a walk-in closet or you could make into like home office kind of sitting area. Quite expansive. 
And then we're walking through that room to the finished area over the garage, which is again quite large. It is uh, was set up like a playroom. It does have its own gas heater there on the wall. And uh, as you can see, the checkerboard black and white tile floors. And then we're looking into the bath, which is part of this room. So there are three baths in this house, four bedrooms and three baths. Fresh and nice for guests. And we're just going to take a quick peek down this stairway, because this is the back entrance to this room, through the garage and an exterior door if you wanted to make it easy for guests to get in and out.